Hey, yo, what's up, Killers? E is your final girl mail coming at you from my killer podcast. And today we're going to be doing something really fun. I've done it in the past, but I usually do it around late December, early January. I'm doing it early December this time because I have time to do it and it'll be a fun video. We're going to be talking about new horror movies for the year 2024. These are mm, some of my most anticipated, but we've got some interesting things coming out next year, and I want to talk about them. My laptop is right here, so let's get into it. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, I'm not only on YouTube, I'm also on a bunch of other social media platforms. Kill the description box below and follow me everywhere. I'm also one third part of the Rad Pack. Y'all on over to that YouTube channel and give it a sub because we got some exciting things coming up at the end of this year and next year that you will not want to miss. I also have channel memberships turned on and I have a Patreon. All the links are in the description box, please join me. But without any further ado, let's dive right into this because there's probably going to be quite a few movies that we're going to discuss today. The first one being Night Swim. That this is a Blumhouse production and it is directed by Bruce McGuire. This one is an interesting one. The synopsis is a woman swimming in her pool at night is terrorized by an evil spirit. <laughs> so it does sound ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds totally ridiculous. But as we know, Blumhouse loves their spooky, ooky movies, and they do them well for the most part. So I can only assume that this one might be done pretty well also, because I like me a good paranormal movie. However, I am going to give you the release dates, but these are tentative release dates subject to change in the future. As we all know, release dates change at the drop of a dime. These are not guaranteed dates. I'm just going to give them to you because that's what I am seeing on here. So Night Swim has a release date of January 5th. So that is coming up, which is another reason why I wanted to talk about this one, because it's one that we can actually see pretty soon. The next one on the list is Imaginary. I have heard some grumblings that people aren't really excited about this I'm just kidding. Is this Ted Man's um, debut on the channel? <laughs> this is my childhood teddy bear. I brought him out for imaginary. Some kids have security blankets. I had a security teddy bear. So imaginary is one that I am highly looking forward to, basically for the most part because I had a childhood teddy bear and I love teddy bear movies. So the synopsis of this one is a woman returns to her childhood home to discover that the imaginary friend that she left behind is very real and very angry that she abandoned him. Which I would be too, right? I don't know. So uh, though this movie does look a little cookie cutter, it could be interesting and I do still want to see it. It does have a release date of March 8th and it is directed by Jeff Waldlow who is formerly known for Truth or Dare, Bates Motel, and Kick-Ass 2. Uh, I can't really speak for Truth or Dare. I didn't, I don't really know how I felt about that one, but Kick-Ass 2 and Bates Motel were great. So this one has potential, I think. The next one we're going to talk about is actually one on the list that I think I might be the most excited about. I don't want to say I'm the most excited about it, but I really am excited about this one, and it's called Lisa Frankenstein. The synopsis of this one is a coming-of-rage love story about a teenager and her crush who happens to be a corpse. Nothing weird there. After a set of horrific circumstances bring him back to life, the two would embark on a journey to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts. So it sounds really interesting. It's kind of a horror comedy-esque. It's very cinematic looking. I, it, there are some movie clips in, I think maybe a trailer that you can watch for this one. It looks very cinematic, very colorful, not your average Frankenstein type movie. It kind of reminds me of Frankenhooker maybe a little bit, but definitely check out the trailer for this one. I'm excited about it. I really am. It's directed by Zelda Williams, which I'm not really sure all of the things that she has done. Where the World Mine, The Legend of Korra, Never, and Dark Web. 
I don't know that I've seen any of those movies, but hopefully this one ends up being a good one. It has a tentative release date of February 9th, so perfect for Valentine's Day. It'll be a nice little romantic horror movie to take your loved one to. <laughs> then we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. I don't know if that rhymed on purpose or not. It's directed by Reese Frank Waterfield. I don't know. I can't say anything about this one. I didn't see the first one. I still have to see the first one. It does have a tentative uh, release date of February 16th, so also a uh, Valentine's Day-ish type movie. Plot synopsis says it's under wraps, so I, I guess they're not giving away what this movie is gonna be about. <laughs> Do that with what you will. Then we have the first omen. The synopsis of this one is a young American woman is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, but encounters darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of an evil carnate. That kind of sounds pretty typical of all of the Omen movies. It is directed by Arkasha Stevenson. I do apologize if I'm not pronouncing some of these names correctly. It happens. This director is most notable for Vessels, Legion, and Crowns, and I haven't seen any of those. It has a tentative release date of April 5th. Another horror movie that's coming out in 2024 is called The Watchers. The synopsis for this one is as follows. Minna, a 28-year-old artist, gets stranded in an extensive, immaculate forest in Western Ireland. After finding shelter, she becomes trapped alongside three strangers stalked by mysterious creatures at night. If this does indeed end up being a really solid creature feature, I will probably enjoy this movie because I enjoy creature features. I enjoy monster movies. B-horror monster movies are my jam. The interesting note about this movie is it is directed by Ishana Shyamalan. I believe that is M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. She takes after her father. This could be a really cool movie. She has done other movies before, like Servant, Old, and The Holloway Picture. I haven't seen any of those. <laughs> I never made it a point to see Old. I heard bad things about it, so I just kind of skipped it. But it does have a tentative release date of June 7th, so if this one sounds interesting to you, look for that one. I am grazing over some horror movies that don't have... Um, certain information that are either pre- or post-production, even though they are tagged for next year. Um, I just want to give you the ones that I know for sure are hopefully coming. But we also have A Quiet Place Day 1. This is the movie that we've all been waiting for. We all wanted this movie. When A Quiet Place 2 dropped and we saw that beginning scene where it was like when the shit started to hit the fan and then the rest of the movie kind of took place after the first one, everybody wanted a prequel to this movie and now we're getting one. It is directed by Michael Sarnowski and it has a tentative release date of June 28th. So look for that one because that one is gonna be pretty exciting, I think. Next up is Smile 2. I know a lot of you aren't really gonna give a shit about this movie because Smile one didn't really get a lot of good reviews, I don't think. Some people liked it, but nobody really raved about this one, and now we're getting a smile too, and it's kind of like, who cares? But uh, the plot is under wraps, but it is directed by Parker Finn, who is also notable for the first smile, so you can probably expect some similar things in the second one. It does have a tentative release date of October 18th. The next one on the list is one that everyone, well, was excited for, and that is Terrifier 3. I feel like people were more excited for this movie when Terrifier 2 ended, but then when we got that snippet of the scene with <laughs> Art the Clown and the Little Girl people started to take a step back from this movie and maybe not be so excited about it. I've even heard people go as far to say that they're not going to watch it um, on the off chance that something happens to that little girl. I don't know. I can't tell you. I did see that clip. And yes, it does look pretty ominous for the little girl. But I also know that trailers are infamous for leading you 
down paths that aren't necessarily where the movie goes because they want to keep you guessing and they want to surprise you when you go to watch these movies. However, I also kind of think that if Damien Leon decides to really pull the trigger on that scenario specifically, he might want to forewarn folks about it. So maybe this clip is just a straight up forewarning like, hey, this is what's up. If this is not something that you appreciate, this movie isn't for you kind of thing. I can't tell you. I don't know. But it could go either way at this point. I have no idea. So a short synopsis of Terrifier 3 is Art the Clown is set to unleash chaos on an unsuspecting residence of Miles County as they peacefully drift off to sleep on Christmas Eve. So yes, this is going to be a Christmas movie. <laughs> it does have a tentative release date of October 25th. So this is going to be another Halloween movie release, which is exciting. Hopefully that date sticks because I think that's perfect for... A, the Terrifier movie. Then we have Maxine, the much anticipated Maxine. I can't say that I'm like uber excited about this one. I, I thought X was fine. I thought Pearl was a little better than X, but it was also fine. I'm not really all that excited for the third installment. Will I watch it? Yeah, and maybe it'll be better than Pearl and they'll just gradually get better as they go on. But I know that there are a lot of people who are excited about this one. This movie follows Maxine, who is the only survivor of the bloody incidents from X. She continues her journey towards fame and fortune to be an actress in the 1980s in Los Angeles. Pretty vague. It is directed by Ty West again, and it does have a tentative release date of 2024. <laughs> <laughs> there is no specific date for this movie, unfortunately, but we are expected to get it next year, so hopefully we do, um, and hopefully it's a good one. Another movie coming in 2024 is Witchboard. <laughs> this is a reimagining of the 1986 horror classic. So it says, I don't know that the 1986 Witchboard was a classic, but maybe it was. This is a reimagining of that movie. I don't know who wanted this, why we need this. Did anybody care about the Witchboard movie? I don't know. I'm not particularly excited about this movie. If I happen to catch it somehow, some way, I'll probably watch it, but it's not going on my list to specifically seek out. It is directed by Chuck Russell, who has also done movies such as The Scorpion King, A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Mask, and Eraser. So that is quite the resume that that man has. I don't know, maybe this movie will be better than the 1986 one. Who knows? But if you are curious, it has a release date of 2024, but nothing specific and next up, one that I am actually really excited for, and that is Nosferatu, a gothic tale of obsession between a haunted young woman and a terrifying vampire infatuated with her, causing untold horror in his wake. Oh, I love this so much. It's going to be directed by Robert Eggers, so that is super exciting. Um, and even more exciting for me is Bill Skarsgård is playing Count Orlock, and I absolutely love him. I think he does an amazing job playing these weird, monstrous characters. So I can only imagine that his Count Orlock is going to be amazing. But you can also see familiar faces such as William Defoe is going to be in this. Nicholas Holt is going to be in this. So those are also some exciting things to look forward to. And this movie does have a tentative release date of December 5th. Then we have the movie The Conjuring Last Rites. I don't know if this is going to be the last movie in the Conjuring universe, but we are getting another Conjuring movie. So I think that's exciting because I, I do like the Conjuring series. The plot is under wraps, so I can't really tell you what it's going to be about. There is not a director listed for this movie either, which I think is really interesting, but it was written by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick. As far as the cast and crew, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are coming back for this one. I can't have a Conjuring movie without them at this point, you know? <laughs> so I can only imagine that it's going to be equally good, if not better, hopefully 
as the rest of the Conjuring movies, just because of all of those things alone. There is not a release date specifically for any day, but hopefully we are still going to get this in 2024. We are also supposed to get Little Bites next year. If you haven't seen our Rad Pack episode, we did do an interview with Spider-1, and he did tease making this movie, and his uh, wife Chrissy Fox is in it, along with John Scarloff, Elizabeth Phoenix Caro, and Barbara Crampton. This movie is about a desperate attempt to protect her 10-year-old daughter, a widow, allows a nightmarish monster to slowly eat her alive. I don't know about you, but that synopsis really intrigues me, and I also find it to be terrifying, so I cannot wait to watch this one. So keep it on your radar. That is it. There are other movies that are set to be coming out, but they were missing information here or there, so I left them off the list for now. But we may be doing another one of these videos later on when we get more announcements. Kill the comments below and let me know which of these movies are you most excited about. That is it. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you'd like to help support me and my channel, join the channel memberships or yawn on over to my Patreon. Also hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and kill that bell for your girl. Share this video with your friends if they need to know what movies to look forward to next year of the horror genre. But until the next time we gather, have a killer day. Peace.